And today on Lowbrow Fishing, we're going to answer that age-old question. What's better, bank fishing or boat fishing? Stick around. You don't want to miss this one. This is the one we were talking about. If he decides to run, he's going to break me. If he decides to run, he's going to break me off. He's huge. He's huge. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, he is huge. Welcome back to Low Brow Fishing. And today, we're talking about the advantages and disadvantages of fishing from the bank and fishing from a boat. Now, you would think, hands down, boat would be better to fish from, right? But the more I thought about it, the more I thought, that's probably not so cut and dry. Now, what inspired me to make this video is an incident that occurred just the other day. We were fishing a brand new body of water, and we were in the northwest corner of the lake in a deep pocket. And we were fishing laydowns and having great success. The bass were jumping, they were chasing bait fish, and we were pulling them out one right after the other. It was one of those rare days that all anglers dream of. Well, we went out to the same exact spot the next day and we noticed something. The fish were there, but they were farther back in the pocket behind the laydowns. Now, I love my bass buggy, but I'm not willing to take her across piles and piles of logs just to get to the back of a pocket where a little pool was to get to those extra fish. Now we tried to get close and fish the area as best we could, but the laydowns were in the way and the only thing that we ended up doing was losing bait after bait, hanging them on these laydowns. Oops, that's gonna be on a log. Yep, golly, I got that log again. Dadgummit. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever, I did it anyway. Go ahead and... Now, if we had just gotten off of the bass buggy and walked around and fished from the bank, we probably would have had a lot more success. So that got me to thinking, is it better to fish from the boat or is it better to fish from the bank? So today we're going to take a look and see the pros and cons of both. Always got to be mindful where the snakes are. Ah, there we are. I'm on. Oh, you're staying down. Stay down. It's a nice one. No, you're not getting away. Beautiful, beautiful bass on the chatterbait, on the homemade chatterbait. All right. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous bass. Another beautiful, another good look at that guy. We're going to let this fish go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There it goes. Now when I'm talking about bank fishing versus boat fishing, I'm not talking about places where boats aren't allowed. A place like a farm pond or a small lake where you can't even put a boat in. It's obvious that you're only going to be doing bank fishing there. I'm also not talking about something like a kayak. To me, a kayak is somewhat of a hybrid. It's a middle ground. It is a, it's a cheaper, a less expensive way to get you out on the water and find and to get you to some of the places that you can't really access from the bank. So we're not really talking about those here. So what we're talking about here is a larger trailered boat, not something that you're putting in the back of your truck and hauling around with you. When I'm talking about boats, I'm talking about a larger trailered boat. I feel that distinction needs to be made because otherwise it can get murky. So I wanted to be very clear about that. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Ooh. Look at you. Look at you. All right. Come on now. I got you good. Mouth. 
Ah, come on now. There we go. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Now, first off, let's get the obvious one out of the way, and that's cost. Fishing from the bank is pretty much free. Other than the fact that you have to pay for your fishing license and your gear, but once you have all that done, you're there. You're fishing. You walk up and you fish. However, on a boat, you've got to pay for the boat. You've got to pay for a truck to pull that boat. You've got to pay for insurance on your boat and on your truck. You have to pay for the registration for that boat. You have to pay for the gas for the boat. You have to pay for the gas for the truck. You have to pay for the upkeep on your boat, the upkeep on your truck. And the list goes on and on. And soon, you're up into the tens of thousands of dollars. Even for those of you who have a small John boat, you still have costs that you have to pay. On some lakes, you have a small John boat that only has a trolling motor. Well, a trolling motor is still at the bare minimum three or four hundred dollars. Plus, there's a hundred and fifty dollars bare minimum for a battery to power the thing. So you're still having to pay more money. Oh, there we go, I'm on. Oh, that's a good... right. Is your chest on? Yes, my chest is on. It's recording too. He's not big. He's not huge, but he's not bad. He's not huge, but he's not bad. He's pulling drag. Oh yeah, he's good. He's big. Net, please. Granted, you're going to be able to fish more water most of the time. There are some rare instances, like the one that I pointed out earlier, where bank fishing is going to give you better access to the water. However, most of the time, you're going to have better access to the water in a boat. So a boat is going to win there most of the time. However, the more we think about it, there are more and more instances where fishing from the bank is probably more advantageous than fishing from a boat especially if there's a lot of clutter and laydowns in the way and you can't get a boat to a particular spot that you know the fish are at, they're active, and they're willing to bite. And nobody else can get back there on a boat to fish. Those are the best places to bank fish from. And whenever you have access to those places, it seems like a dream. Boat flip it nicely. I got you. I got you. Very nice. Oh, yeah. I knew they'd be in that grass. So what about access to fish? Well, this is somewhat different to being able to find spots to fish. Now, you would think in a boat with fancy electronics and the ability to move around on the water, you would have greater access to fish. You can fish deeper. You can fish shallower. You can have a variety of baits that you can throw. And whenever you're fishing from the bank, what you can carry in your tackle box and use is somewhat limited most of the time. Unless you're fishing from a pier or a bridge that gives you access to deeper water, you're not fishing a 6XD from the bank. So access to fish and access to water has got to go to a boat. But you've got some diehard anglers who will always forever prefer to fish from the bank over fishing from a boat. That's just how they enjoy doing it. And that's perfectly fine. For me, fishing is all what you make of it. If that's what you enjoy, then that's what you should do. If that's what you're comfortable with and that's what you have confidence in, then that's definitely what you should do. 
So in the end, fishing from the bank or fishing from the boat is entirely subjective. I love fishing from the bank. I love catching fish from the bank. I like discovering new places and hiking through the woods and exploring. But at the end of the day, I love my bass buggy. She's a great little boat and she works perfectly for me. That's where I have to hang my hat. So as you can see, it's not so cut and dry, boat versus bank. And there are a lot of anglers who would prefer to fish from the bank over a boat any time. And that's just how they prefer to do it. What matters is that you get out to go fishing and you enjoy the outdoors and you have fun. That's the main goal. Thanks for watching Lowbrow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.